controller settings in this video have gotten me to Unreal Rank twice already this season. First, I did it with a controller connected to my PC, and then just earlier today, I officially got to Unreal while only playing on my console on my PS5. So regardless of what you play on, I think I have some of the best rank controller settings, and here they are. Starting over in the game tab, I play central servers, but let me show you how exit lag can actually help lower your ping. They're sponsoring this part of the video to get the word out there that you don't have to be stuck on high ping. Because the way they can help get you lower ping is pretty simple actually. They just optimize your connection route to get better performance, and almost every pro that's not already on zero ping uses exit lag to get lower ping. This isn't a gimmick at all, like watch this, if I want to play with my friends that are on NA East servers, my typical MS is about 58 and my actual ping in game is usually hovering around the mid 60s. But even while my game's still open and I'm just sitting here in the lobby, I can quickly open my exit lag and switch it on. And in those two clicks, I literally went down almost 20 ping into the mid 40s. It isn't guaranteed to work for everybody, you should still use an ethernet cable, that's gonna help the most. Well, if you're using an ethernet cable and you still have really bad ping, it's definitely worth trying and at least seeing if it helps. Setting it up is really easy, just go to exilag.com, or I'll also leave the link in the top of the description, sign up for your account there, then download the app, make sure all the settings are right, and that's it, it's literally that easy. And they're running crazy deals with prizes until the 15th of March, so go now and check it out. And now let's move on to the rest of these. And then these are my movement binds, these are my combat binds, my preferred item slots, and this season this is actually the main loadout that I'm running. For building, I disable pre-edits, I have reset building choice on, and I use auto confirm edits on both. So both my resets and edits are auto confirmed. And then we have all the extra game options over here. We have the game UI tab, these are the settings that I use for that. We have the gyro controls, the touch and motion tab, I don't use any of this and I don't suggest anyone does. It's not great. And then we scroll over the mouse and keyboard stuff to the controller tab. Over here, I set my slide hold time to 0 0.08 seconds. I have vibrations off. I have quick weapon off as well. I'm not using quick weapon. We of course have used advanced options turned on with a 2.0 build multiplier and a 2.0 edit multiplier. And that when paired with the look sense, which is 43% both horizontal and vertical with no boost. To me, this combo of build and look sense is literally perfect. I mean, it makes you fast enough to get pretty PC with it, do some good piece control. And then once you pull your shotgun out and you're using that look sense, I don't know, something about it just feels so good. It's so smooth. And then the ADS sense is so important this season and it's 7% horizontal, 8% of vertical with no boost. I mean, honestly, in both of the times that I got to Unreal, especially playing team game modes like trios and squads, my ADS sense was the most important sensitivity that I had. And this ADS sense worked perfect for that. Then you go down to look dimming time of zero seconds, look input curve of linear. In the dead zones, I go 10% on both left and right stick on my scuff and vision. And now, just to show off how these settings work, let's hop into an Unreal Rank solos game. And I'll also give you guys some of my best tips for hitting Unreal Rank this season, so make sure to keep watching. And I guess we'll start with the obvious, which is you need to find and get really good at a drop spot that's comfortable to you. For me, this season that's basically been this place way over on this corner of the map, or right over here at this place. Both of these places, I know how to get good drops to so I can beat other players off the drop. Nice. That was a free kill. Ooh, hello, bro. I'm actually so confused how that guy just landed on me like that. My brother, the amount of third parties here is so dumb. Like, 
bro. Oh my god. All you do is get teamed on in solos. You gotta be prepared for that. I mean, like, there's just so many people wanting the third party and lurking. Honestly, it's probably the number one thing you have to look out for in solo. Is compared to team game modes, people play so grimy. Like, they just hide and sneak. And honestly, sometimes there's just nothing you can do about it. Like, right there, I had literally no mats. I jump out to fight that guy. And then all of a sudden, there's just another guy in my face. Quite literally nothing I could do right there. So we just back out and we move on. Oh, here we go. We got a hot drop on me. There we go. All right, there's not a ton of action right now. So let's just go rapid fire on a couple good tips for hitting Unreal Rank. So number one was the drop spot. Number two is that solos give the most percentage by far. Like if you have a good game in solos, you go up so much. So if you're a decent solos player at all, I definitely recommend playing solos. But I'm not gonna lie, team game modes are a lot more fun. So you kind of have to balance that. And if you are gonna play with teammates, then follow tip number three, which is make sure you don't play with teammates that are higher ranked than you. And I'll go ahead and shoot off tip number four here. And that's that, especially later in ranks, like elite and champions mainly, you should be focusing on the win way more than you're focusing on elims. I mean, if you're winning the game, a few elims will come. But once you start getting into some of these top ranks, like especially champions, and you don't win the game, I mean, I guarantee you'll be shocked at how little you rank up. Like it literally, you don't rank up unless you win games. My damage right there was just not it, I'll be honest. But no worries, we got the job done. We're chilling here. And you always are gonna have the bush campers here. They're always gonna be here. And my last tip for you to hit on real rank this season is that if ranked is too hard for you right now, don't be afraid to just wait until later in the season. Later in the season, a lot more people are getting to unreal. And so the lobbies are a lot more fairly matched up. You won't have to be in platinum or diamond fighting like elite and champions or even unreal players. It really does get a lot easier later in the season. And now let me win this game. Oh, that's where he is. Like, what a shot to end that off. Let's go. So those are my controller settings. Those are my tips for getting to ranked. I highly recommend you try them out. And I wish you the best of luck of getting to Unreal Rank this season.